Hey everyone, I have a quick word to share today. And today's word is your feelings have nothing to do with reality. Your feelings have nothing to do with reality. And today's scripture reference, I actually have three. I've got Isaiah 55, eight and nine, Proverbs three, five through six, and Numbers 23, 19. And the first scripture reference, Isaiah 55, eight through nine, it reads, my thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord. My ways are far beyond anything you could ever imagine, or you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. And then the second scripture reference, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. And then the last scripture reference, Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man, so he does not lie. He is not human, so he does not change his mind. Has he ever spoken and failed to act? Has he ever promised and not carried it through? So what the Holy Spirit is speaking today is that many of you are feeling like um, the promise is not coming through for you or there's something you've been praying for and you feel like God hasn't answered you fast enough. And the Lord is saying that just because you feel a certain way about the situation, that's not the reality. The reality is that he is not human and he does not change his mind. And in Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do and he will show you which path to take. And for many of you, he's shown you the path to take. And he's just asking you to continue to move forward in your assignment, in what he's called you to do, and stop letting the enemy get in your head and distract you and make you feel a certain way. Because how you feel about a situation has nothing to do with the reality of what God is doing behind the scenes. God is making big moves behind the scenes. And just because you don't see it, you are not God. You don't need to see it. You just need to continue to be obedient in whatever he's called you to do. For many of you, it's um, starting that business. And many of you, maybe you have started the business and you're just not seeing the fruits of your labor yet. And you're getting frustrated. But there's purpose in everything. God has a plan and you just need to keep moving forward in the instruction. Many of you uh, are praying for unsaved friends and family members or you're praying about uh, your significant others or there's certain situations that you just really felt like the Lord should have come through for you by now. I mean, let's get real about it. But the Lord, he sees things you don't see and he see is the you know the big picture you don't see the big picture you only see a small part of what the lord is doing so you just need to trust in him continue to move forward and stop giving into your feelings you know i know whenever i um start feeling down or i'm feeling like you know i'm questioning but I know the Lord has promised me. I There's several things you can do. You can worship. Worship is the fastest way to confuse the enemy. Um, you can volunteer. I've got my Las Vegas uh, Rescue Mission t-shirt on. I miss them so much. That was one of my favorite things to do when I was living in Las Vegas. And I felt when I was feeling like you know, like I was down in the dumps or I just needed to um, lift my spirits. Getting into service, uh, you know, serving other people, it's the fastest way to get you out of your own head. And I know that it really helped me when I was having those low moments, especially when I was in that wilderness season, you know, and the, the great thing about uh, the Las Vegas Rescue Mission is that I could just easily pick up a shift even the day of, you know, if I felt myself getting into kind of a funk, I could just go online and sign up for a shift. And so, you know, um, 
go for a walk outside. Um, have a cup of tea and get into the word. You know, there's so many things that you can do. Go for a walk and get some sunshine. You know, go to the gym, get some exercise. And so I know a lot of you are feeling this right now. And the Lord is just saying, just continue to move forward. Don't lean on your own understanding. Don't, don't allow your feelings to give you a false sense of false perception of what's actually happening because your feelings have nothing to do with the reality of the situation. So I'm not sure who this message is for today. Please take this to the Lord for confirmation, but just know the Lord is moving behind the scenes and you just need to trust him. Lean not on your own understanding. He's working things out in your favor. It's all rigged in your favor and he's going to work it out for you. So don't get in your feelings <laughs> just move forward keep moving even when you don't feel like it the lord's called you to your assignment don't let the enemy delay you just keep moving forward so again i'm not sure who this is for today but i want to welcome all my new subscribers for the to the family i want to thank all of you who've sown uh into this ministry i pray over every seed that the lord will increase it a thousand fold if you feel the holy spirit's guiding you to sow into this message i encourage you to do so and just know that i pray for all of you every day i pray that the right people receive these messages at the right time i pray that they edify the body of christ and just know that i love you all so much with the love of christ and stay blessed